Hi, my name is Sophie Dean and I'm the author of Agent Asher Mission Shark Bites and I'm delighted that Peters have selected Asher to be part of your Spring Book Club for schools. Thanks very much. Um, so I'm going to tell you a bit of background about Asher, why I wrote it and um, what happens. I was, just, I was inspired to write Asher when I was working in a school in Wembley in London and around 80% of the kids I work with were people of colour and about 50% of my kids were girls. And they were amazing. They were full of brilliant questions, inquisitive and really smart. So smart, actually, that I wondered if, in fact, they already worked for an intelligence agency. And so I started to explore the idea. And I noticed there was very little representation of people from different backgrounds in our mainstream stories. And I wondered, why was that? I also knew or know how important tech skills are. Like that's really exciting, innovative subjects and it's everywhere. But I could see that loads of people think or thought of computer science as something just for genius kids and like super geeky. And it's just not true at all. It's creative, it's innovative and it's fun. And so Asha was born. She's an 11 year old girl, born in Wembley in London. And ever since she was a baby, she's loved breaking things and making things. Her favourite question is why? And she has a rebellious streak, which often gets her into trouble and detention at school. And she's also an amazing coder and she ha can hack into almost any system. Um, and she lives in our world. It's full of adults using gadgets, text everywhere. Um, some adults even use Siri to find the bathroom in their own house. And the big problem is that a lot of adults have stopped thinking for themselves. And that is where the Children's Spy Agency comes in. The CSA wants to build a world where people do think for themselves and where technology is used for good. And Ash was recruited as an agent to help tackle some of the world's baddest operators, including someone called Shelley Belly. Shelley um, is the first teenage trillionaire ever. Uh, she's got two of the biggest apps on the planet, FaceSpace and TickTick. Um, the big question is, what is she doing with everybody's data? And that's where Asha comes in, even though Asha's 11, she's the only person who can match Shelley's coding and tech skills. And when the internet starts going down worldwide, everybody's losing their minds, it's chaos, and Asha is the only one that can help. She's not alone, she's accompanied by two amazing sidekicks, Drone and Tumble. That's Tumble, and that's Drone. Um, drone is a sleek, metal drone. Uh, she's got two bladeless rotors on retractable arms that stick out the side of her body and she used to be a nanny bot which is basically like a nanny in a robot and she would tell Asha's parents if Asha had eaten or completed her homework or done her daily poo um, but now Asha's, Asha's hacked into Drove's code and she's made her the slickest spy companion around and her other companion Tumble is a little more basic it's Asha's first ever invention a small bright orange hamster and he thinks he's a lot smarter than he is. He's very optimistic and friendly. He prefers to cartwheel into rooms than to walk into them. And he knows everything that there is to know about reality TV all over the world. And that's very helpful when they're on global missions. And they're a super dynamic team out to save the world from Shelly Belly, evil bots, deadly sharks, and injustice everywhere. And in the Asha series, we explore the idea of good versus evil. Um, and see that people aren't necessarily one thing or another. Maybe we're just all five decisions away from being good or evil. And sometimes good people do bad things and sometimes bad people do good things. So it's very important to think things through. Um, but above all, the Children's Spy Agency cares about asking questions and finding out the truth. Their motto is think for yourself, question everything. Uh, anyone under 16 can apply to join the Children's Spy Agency in real life. But the first step is finding out how to do that. So good luck and happy reading.